Welcome back. So Monday morning, finished milling this one on the machine, and the guys uh, got it all cleaned up and um, got it glassed. So now that one just needs to have the peel ply taken off, and it's ready to have some putty sprayed on there. And back on the engine, if you remember, on Friday I was plumbing the oil lines uh, to the turbos, and so now I've got the the coolant um, lines run in and out of the turbos as well. And I just I didn't really get any video of that. I just quickly put those. Um, hoses together and got everything bolted up and sorted out and had to make you know a few little adjustments here and there um, but there you can see we've got Y's in there and it's basically pulling a feed of um, coolant off of the uh, engine and then obviously sending it to the turbos and then back again and back returning into the engine so those are all done now so that's uh, just another step forward uh, to getting the engine complete here and back to the machine, this is the foam for the plug for the left hand aileron spar and you can see it's already halfway underway and I've already slid it down the table and working on the second half there so it won't be too long and that one will be finished and uh, ready to be cleaned up and fiberglassed and this is the left wing spar mold that's halfway through so the guys have basically taken the peel ply off there in preparation for putting the heavy layers on there and Jeff's just cleaning up the edges there and then they should be uh, laying it up later on this week. And the next thing on the engine is hooking up the wastegates and those are controlled um, via pressure in the output side of the cold side of the turbo so there you can see the one for the second turbo under there. And so what I need to do, I need, we're going to be using that pressure for a couple of different things so I've got this manifold here and one thing will be driving the wastegate control, another thing will be the boost gauge, another thing will be cabin pressurization, and then each or one of those for each turbo, basically. Uh, so you can see I've got the different fittings in there, and those just all have to be put in and uh, tightened up, and then um, hook up the first um, turbo to that one, and then the second one you'll see a little bit later. And yeah, back on the, on the machine, Jeff got the first one of those um, aileron spar plugs um, in putty, and so got that up on the mill and that one's running now so that should be done sometime tomorrow and so here's the other one that um, came off the machine earlier in the day and so they've got it prepped now and ready for glassing and you see they've cleaned off all the excess foam around the edges and just sort of smooth things out and taken the sharp edges off so the glass will lay down and this is the end of the day today so they got that all glassed now and so tomorrow that'll be ready uh, to have uh, the putty sprayed on and we'll get up on the machine tomorrow afternoon. And this is the first one again uh, back on the machine. So this is further along now towards the end of the day. And the first half has pretty much been run and it's already started on the second half. And finally back to the engine, it was time to put some oil in because we have Ed coming by tomorrow to take some readings off the crank and cam sensors. So I wanted to be able to have the engine so we could crank it over quite a lot while he takes those readings. So it needed to have the oil in there. So we're putting um, basically nine, nine and a half quarts um, of Mobile One uh, 5W30 in there. It's not the absolute oil that they recommend for this engine. There's a different one that they recommend that's you know specifically for um, you know the different fuel f um, particulate filters that they have for the diesel engine. But because we're not running some of that stuff and we don't have the EGR or anything anymore. Um, and especially just we're on the test stand for the first run, which will be you know changing the oil again before we put it in the aircraft. Uh, just decided just to put regular Mobile One 5W and uh, 5W30 in there. So uh, yeah, just put a bunch in there and um, wanted to let it settle. And of course, it has to pump up into the uh, oil filter as well, which is uh, higher up on the engine. So the idea was to put in about uh, seven quarts and initially, and then crank it over a little bit and. Uh, let it um, you know circulate the oil around through the engine and then put the extra couple of quarts in so initially when I did it there you know I, oil was showing up on there so here you can see uh, we crank it over a little bit over a couple of times and then uh, put the extra quartz in and check the level and it was full so we're happy with that anyway so a little bit more here here's the second manifold there for the second turbo and you can see that basically comes out of the 
um, the pressure side of the second turbo and then there's a line there running to the wastegate control and then the other one has, isn't been hooked up yet that's for the uh, line going to the boost gauge and then over on this side you can see here's the second one and right now I've just for temporary I've just basically used these uh, clamp clips on those hoses and then you can see there's the air coming out of the first turbo going into the manifold and then it comes out there and then goes to the wastegate controller and again I'm probably going to replace those clamp clips later I just didn't have the time to buy it, the extra hardware right now for those but anyway there's the wastegate um, arm is all hooked up there to the wastegate and uh, things are coming along nicely there. So the next thing to do is uh, get the uh, overflow tank for the radiator hooked up, and uh, got a f little bit more wiring of the gauges to do, and um, put some fluids in it. And hopefully we get our ECU and our harness back real soon, and uh, we'll be able to uh, start it up. Anyway, that's our update for the first half of this weekend. Thanks again for watching.